thought I would interrupt while you're, do I have any, do I have anything in my teeth? Be honest. Yeah, good, sweet, sweet. Are you enjoying your meals? You look very dapper, sir. What's your name? I'm going to call you Captain Alfonso. Are you good with that? Awesome, I'm glad you're having a great time. Now, before I turn the mic over, I finally get a podium, I don't bring my notes. Don't need them, I don't, I don't believe in them. Before I turn the microphone over to the director of the Starlight Children's Foundation, a man by the name of Brian Bringolf. When you have golf in your last name, you have to become a CEO. I mean, it's just what God wants. Before I turn the night over to him, we have a very special uh, video message from a hot Italian guy. Ladies and gentlemen, you know him, you love him, you want to cuddle him. It's Rick Campanelli from ET Canada. Hey everyone, I'm Rick Campanelli from ET Canada. So sad I can't join you tonight. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend this year's Starlight Gala, but I wanted to send a video message to commend all of the generous attendees and sponsors for their support at this year's incredible event. Now, as you probably know, Starlight partners with experts to improve the lives and health of kids and families around the world. Being a father myself, I realize the importance of organizations like Starlight, and I am so pleased to be able to support such an important cause. I wish you all a very special and moving evening and look forward to hearing how your kind-hearted donations have allowed Starlight to continue their important work with families across Canada. Have a great night, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Starlight, star bright, the first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have this wish I wish tonight. I say those words in honor of our founder of Worldwide Starlight, a gentleman named Peter Samuelson. When uh, Peter brought his uh, friend's dying son from England to uh, uh, the studios in Hollywood, to tour his studios, I don't think he knew what he was getting involved with. 30 years later, um, Peter's managed to bring Steven Spielberg, the late uh, General Norman Schwarzkopf, and many other celebrities into the Starlight Fold. We have chapters throughout the world, and one of our largest chapters is right here in Canada, and I'm proud to say we touch over 25,000 children from coast to coast each and every month. I have the best job in the world. I've been working for Starlight for over 18 years, and I can tell you that Starlight is alive and well. I've seen the most magical stories imaginable. People often ask me, what's the most wonderful thing you've ever seen? And uh, the list goes on and on. I've been blessed to uh, float in the water with a 16-year-old uh, boy, quadriplegic, that we were about to take uh, adapted water skiing for the very first time. I've uh, sat on countless oncology wards with children playing oncology bingo, ice cream sundaes, and little decorating events, just something to make their time a little bit more enjoyable. I've uh, met a 16-year-old boy who was terminally ill with cancer, and his uh, dying wish was to uh, sit at home with his mom and dad and his buddies and watch a movie at home uh, before he passed away, and we, uh, we made that, uh, excuse me, we made that wish come true. Probably the most inspirational story was one of the first ones I ever heard at Starlight, it was about a six, uh, sorry, a six-year-old boy named Brian, and Brian was terminally ill with a uh, brain tumor and um, his wish was to become healthy, and unfortunately we couldn't help him with that, but uh, his second wish was to be an adult, and we thought to ourselves, what's involved as a boy becoming an adult? You get up in the morning, you get showered, shaved, get in a suit, off you go to work with your briefcase. So Brian went to the Starlight office for a few weeks in his little custom-made suit that we made, and he drove everybody crazy with his laughter and his chatter, and one of the people that he ran into was uh, the father of another Starlight child that he knew. And his father was there because his daughter had unfortunately passed away. And Brian looked at the dad. Remember, this is a six-year-old boy. And he looked at the father and said, uh, well, Susie's in heaven now. And I'm going to be going to heaven soon. And I bet you you want to give her a hug. So why don't you give me a hug? And I'll give it to her when I see her. So this is the innocence of starlight, excuse me, of children, and this is the magic of starlight, and this really is the magic of what you are all contributing to here tonight. Again, I say all the time, I'm lucky in my job, I, I meet these children, it gives me perspective in my own life, um, but I also meet incredible heroes, uh, and those heroes are the people that allow us to do what we do, and those people are all of you that are here supporting us tonight. 
Uh, there's so many of you, but I need to highlight a, a few, if you will. Um, Kevin McNabb from uh, Toys R Us. I haven't had the great honor of meeting you yet. And I'm sorry, but I wanted to, and I will before the end of tonight. But just the way, first of all, the way you've um, helped make uh, Toys R Us this uh, huge retail partner that I frequent too much with my four children of my own. But um, also the, the way you foster the pay it forward uh, philosophy. Uh, it's truly inspirational from everybody I meet at Toys R Us. It's, uh, I've been in the nonprofit world my whole life, and it's, it's amazing how Toys R Us embraces this. Um, your support for Starlight, your support for Autism Speaks, and all the countless other charities across the country you support really makes you, Toys R Us, a leader in the philanthropic community, and I thank you very, very much. <laughs> Mary Hewton, I'm sorry, Mary, I don't know where you are, but thank you so much for your years of support. Uh, your friendship towards Starlight, your recent uh, friendship and guidance towards me, I sincerely appreciate and I hope I absolutely get to work with you for years ahead. Uh, your right hand, Jacqueline Maine, for uh, making tonight what it is. All I'm hearing about is how creative and amazing you are, so thank you, Jacqueline. Of course, Melanie Teed Merch, our, uh, our visionary, our chair, the most amazing chair we could possibly have imagined for tonight. Thank you for your your joie de vivre, your passion, your, your letting us do what we needed to do. Uh, it's truly an inspiration. I understand also, and I'm sorry I don't have the names, but we have the uh, store managers that led uh, the Toys R Us point of sale campaign um, this year, the leaders. I want to thank you on behalf of everybody at Starlight because you helped guide us and lead us to our best year ever, raising over $1.6 million. <laughs> Last but not least, I normally don't uh, thank employees because as employees, uh, we're blessed to do what we do for a living, but uh, for many of us, uh, it's more than a living. Starlight's a way of life. And I've seen Jeannie, uh, Michelle, Calla, and Susie from the Starlight office just kill themselves over the last few months. I'm getting emails at 2 o'clock in the morning. Thank you very much for putting, Jeannie, your stamp on this and for everybody else's support. It's just been phenomenal. <laughs> last, last two thoughts. I'm sorry to go on so long, but last two thoughts I'd like to leave you with are one thought and one quote. Um, the thought is this. I get to go home every night to four healthy, wonderful children, and I hug them and I squeeze them tight, and I deal with their silliness as opposed to their sickness. And I really do encourage all of you to go home tonight and hug your children, grandchildren, nieces, and nephews just a little bit tighter, a little bit longer, and let the moment last because those, those of us that have a healthy family, we're truly blessed. My quote <laughs> is by the great Abraham Lincoln, they say, one is never so tall as when one kneels to help a child. Ladies and gentlemen, I really do feel I'm in the presence of giants with you all here tonight. I thank you, thank you for supporting Starlight, the Toys R Us Gala, and thank you for believing as we do that, that every child should be free to wish and dream. Good night, God bless. So I spoke about her in the speech. I don't think many people need a big introduction. She has just brought the house down in terms of this amazing gala. Uh, from Toys R Us, Melanie Teed Merch. Brian, you're a tough act to follow. <laughs>